Hello fly tying enthusiasts. It's been a while since the last fly I showed you and it's obviously hard to uh, show a fly every day but uh, let's try one a week this time. <laughs> Today it's going to be the famous Branko Gasparin killer. Branko killer. Finally I received uh, one of those capes with the right color, the violet blue dome from Whiting and the dubbing I'm going to use is uh, my variation it's not the original the original as far as I know has uh, eight different uh, materials combined so I might never really get the original one but what I'm going to use is this Trout Hunter Pink Albert dry fly dubbing so that one lo looks really good to me. The thread, Vivas 14.0 B08. I, I want this uh, kind of rusty brown on the body, slightly darker. And the hook, the hook is 301 Dohiko size 12. I'm going to do it slightly bigger. This like can be tied from size 20 to size 6 and it works it works almost everywhere I've caught fish all over the Balkans with it I've caught fish in Lapland with it pretty good saved our day there on uh, some fussy grayling the tail I'm going to use the same uh, from the cape the same feather the longest uh, one and I'll take five or six fibers one thread one tie underneath the tail there we go let's not forget to wax the thread least every now and then now the post I still have some left given to me from Branco so it's some um, polypropylene any one I guess will do but this is to match the color to make it as close as possible to the original so I tie it like this and then just cut it on angle that helps us make a nice conical shape of the fly then I come back here to the front and now I will take one of those feathers from the cape and trim off the lowest fibers you want this one this part here without the fibers to be pretty long because we want to go up the hook with it so That's how you make any parachute fly. So it's not necessarily to use this color, any color you like, basically. Let's put some more wax so we made this bit really nice and tight here. that's far enough okay and now I'm going back to put the dubbing Rene Harrop 
professional dry fly dubbing. Looks nice. You can tighten it. Let's go to the front bit now. Just enough. Just enough. So we're going down on the side here because that's where I want to finish my fly as well you see we still have some space here to start the fly and what I like to do is put a tiny little amount of super glue on the power post just to make sure it all stays secure there I'm using this Super glue gel minute, minute man from uh, Vision. They say there's no shame to be quick. <laughs> so, this one is good, really. I'm satisfied with the results. And now I start wrapping the first turn, and then every next one goes underneath. the previous one I want to make five or four even turns all the way to the bottom right there that's that's pretty much it I think that's fine and then I catch it with the thread and go again underneath all of them and now it's secured there maybe one more turn just to stay on the safe side now we can cut this bit off here and now I want to make this knot same thing I need a drop of the tiny of this glue on the top of my needle Take it like this and go underneath here. So this will secure it now pretty strong and it won't fall apart. We can now cut the thread. I like to leave those poles slightly longer like this. And there we go, this is our Branco Killer, guaranteed to float and to catch many fish, not the original, but as close as possible. Hope you like it and uh, you, it will be helpful for you to tie some parachutes, even if they're not in this particular color. And. Uh, I hope I see you next time and I will really appreciate if you take time to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Bye bye.